J mother fucking love back in the mother fucking building with another video <laughs> most of you have been subscribed to this channel since the very beginning and you know that I created this channel many years ago back in February 2009 there are many of you who have only been following me for a few years but those of you who've been following me for at least five years know that I've uploaded a lot of videos talking about heightism and women who discriminate against short men in the dating world or on the dating scene I guess you would call it um and it was this topic that caused the big beef that I had on YouTube back in 2014 or 2015 with a YouTuber who went by the name of Philco the Universe. He was a black guy that lived in Russia and would always upload videos talking about how many white women he fucked. You may have heard of a YouTuber um, who goes by the name of, of Kent from the Kent TV show. I don't know if you ever heard of that channel before, but this motherfucker is so short. Even I got him beat. And I'm only five fucking four. <laughs> okay. He's like five two and he would do videos talking about heightism and talking about how women would discriminate against him because he was short and he would always yell and scream and be so animated in his videos going in on women calling them evil superficial bitches I mean he used to go in on women because he thought women didn't like him because he was only five foot two and I would always tell him that it wasn't just his physical attributes that women didn't find attractive it was his personality traits it was the way that he carried himself and the way that he acted he don't have much swag he dresses like a kid and he just doesn't carry himself with confidence and women like confident they like a confident man what started this big youtube beef that i had with phil Cody universe is how he downplayed heightism and while i didn't agree with everything kent he, kent was saying i did agree with the fact that there are women who see shorter men as inferior to taller men there are women out there who really believe that taller men are superior to short men a lot of women that i know and girlfriends of mine have made statements like a short man ain't good enough for me or a short man ain't man enough for me or they would make statements like I need someone to protect me a tall man can protect me in ways that a short man can't and I would look at them like and say what the fuck are you talking about like height doesn't determine one's fighting ability because you're tall that doesn't automatically make you a good fighter because you're short that doesn't automatically make you a bad fighter it's so many things that go into someone being a good fighter that to just look at height and come to the conclusion that because a man is tall that he's a good fighter it's just ridiculous because it has nothing to do with height it has to do with your punching power your how fast of a puncher you are if you can even take a chin in here your heart matters you know it's height is probably one of the things that means the least when it comes that matters the the, the least when it comes to becoming or being a good fighter but that's what most women think and our society has trained us to think and believe that height is 
a masculine trait and a reflection or measure of one's level of masculinity. Like a lot of women place value, so much value on height and they determine a man's value and worth by his height. And it's unfortunate because you can be missing out on something really good, a really good relationship or a man who is really compatible and have a lot of chemistry with you. But just because he is short, you wouldn't even give him the chance or opportunity to get to know you. And it's it's sad and unfortunate. But heightism is a real thing. And... A lot of people wouldn't come right out and say it because I think in our hearts we know that it's despicable, disgusting, sad, and I would even go as far as saying quite disturbing that we feel taller men are superior to shorter men. But we do. And there's many studies on this and um, statistics show that taller men hold more leadership positions, more executive positions. There's never been a short president. And taller men are more respected. Taller men are more respected than shorter men. When someone sees a tall man they automatically assume that he if, if he's fit and not like you know scrawny or anything they automatically assume that he's healthy people just look at short men like we're a defect <laughs> seriously like i've heard women on many occasions talk about how they want to date a short man uh, date a tall man i'm sorry or have a baby by a tall man because they don't want no short son like being short is some sort of handicap or deficiency or bad thing that like being short is a crime and it's sickening it's really sickening but this is the way society view short men and what is mind-boggling to me is how we pick and choose when we want to be moral or morally correct because we have such an issue in our society with people being racist we have a problem with colorism we have a problem and we see something wrong with homophobia but we see absolutely nothing wrong with people making disparaging comments about short men or people discriminating against short men or taunting short men. It's just something that we haven't been taught to believe is wrong. And so people do it and our society think that it's completely acceptable, normal and OK. We've normalized belittling and um disrespecting short stature men because we've never been told that it's wrong to belittle them or discriminate against them and what i think is so hypocritical because i used to always defend women on this channel y'all know i had an issue with hidden agenda y'all remember him for those of you who've been following me for a long time i'm sure many of you remember nola tv show he was a dark-skinned guy that would always call dark-skinned women unattractive and say that he only dates red bones and hidden agenda said that he think that dark-skinned women look manly and they're not attractive and we know this has been an issue in the black community that black women have been speaking on for years. Black women always talk about how the black rappers only have racially ambiguous women in their videos, how black rappers like Latino light skinned women and white women and how black men don't appreciate dark skinned women. They don't find dark skinned women attractive. Our society as a whole do not find darker skinned women attractive. And 
we also have a tendency as men to body shame plus size women. That's also been an issue that women have sp spoken about for years. So y'all have a problem with men discriminating against plus size women and dark skin women and saying that they think dark skin women are manly looking or not attractive and they don't want to date big plus size women but it's completely fine for y'all to discriminate against a man because of his lack of height like i don't understand that i don't understand it and what bothers me about it is you giving a man credit for something that he didn't even control i mean i can't control that he's short dna our dna and genetics is what determines our height so why should a man get credit for being tall? Like that's something he actually contributed to or earned or worked for. <laughs> you giving this man all this praise, especially the short women. Y'all really cracked me the fuck up because I don't understand why a little four foot eleven, five foot one woman want a tall six foot eight man. I think a lot of short women have insecurities with their own height, which is why they go after tall men, because they want their son to be tall, not knowing that their son can completely take after them and be short. That's the reason why I'm short, because my mother was short. She ain't super short, but my grandmother is super short. She like five foot one and my grandfather was only four eleven. So that's why I'm only five fucking four. But I think that it's fucked up that tall men are put on a pedestal and almost worshipped in our society. Like, I'm really starting to see that our society plays a lot of value on height. And I didn't know this before. I didn't know that people took height so seriously. But we do. And it's hypocritical. If we think that there's something wrong with discriminating against someone because of their skin color or race, how is it not wrong to discriminate against somebody because of their height? Like, aren't they both physical attributes that we can't control? Aren't they fucking physical traits that we have absolutely no control over? So why is it wrong to discriminate against a woman because she's plus size? And if if anything, I would say that that's more okay than discriminating against a man that's short because you can actually control your weight. Most women can. Now, I know some women can't because they have heart issues or they can't work out or because of their metabolism. They're big and just naturally big bone. But you have more control over that than a man has over his height. Yet, somehow in our society, we see one form of discrimination as worse than the other. Like, we, we put them on a, a scale. Like, we think that it's wrong to be racist, colorism is wrong, homophobia is wrong, but it's completely acceptable and fine to discriminate against short men. And it's, it's, the, it's the same. It's a different type and form of discrimination, but it, it, the victims all feel the same. Short men feel just as hor are made to feel just as horrible about their height as plus size women are about their weight. And as dark skinned women are about their skin tone. They don't feel beautiful enough. They have low self esteem and don't feel like they have any self worth because they're big. And they know a lot of men don't want them or prefer them. And there are some men who like BBWs. I have a friend who only like dating big women. But I just wanted to get on here and rant about how hypocritical I think women are and how our society is because there isn't any difference in how these people who are discriminated against because of physical attributes they can't control it isn't a difference in how they feel on the inside. It hurts short men just as much as it hurts big women to be discriminated against. 
Same thing with dark skinned women. And it just cracks me up when I see dark skinned women look down on short men or big plus size women look down on short men and say that they're not good enough or they're not man enough because they're short. Another thing that bothers me is how tall men don't sympathize with what short men have to go through because they're not on the, what is it called? The bad end of the stick. Tall men love the fact that a lot of women prefer them over shorter men. They love the fact that they have an edge, an advantage over short men. They don't care about the fact that short men are in a way being oppressed or discriminated against and not given the same chances or opportunities that they are given with women. They don't give a fuck about that. They just always on Instagram and social media posting and bragging about how tall they is. I'm tall. That they never replaced tall with light or replace short with dark and imagine a man on TV or just in general going around saying I don't want no dark man I mean I don't want no dark woman imagine hearing a man say that and how despicable that sounds but just replace that with short just re replace dark with short and have a woman go out in public saying, I don't want no short man. She, well, she won't receive as much backlash for saying that as a man would for saying that he don't like dark or black women. But you tall men, y'all fucked up. Because me personally, if I was tall and a woman told me that she liked me because of my height or my height was one of the main reasons that she's fucking with me, I wouldn't want to deal with her because I want you to fuck with me because of who I am. I want you to, to, to love and fuck with my aura, my demeanor, how I carry myself because of my personality traits, because of what I bring to the table other than something that I had absolutely no control over because that basically means that you wouldn't have fucked with me if I was short. <laughs> so y'all, y'all tall niggas, stupid to me. Those of you who think that it's cool that a woman want you because of your height, that'd be an instant turn off for me. And I'm not saying that just because I'm short. The good thing about being short for you short men out there is that you would be able to filter out all the fuck bitches and all the women who aren't good for you. Because if a woman tells you she don't want to date you solely because you're short and she didn't even give you a chance, she has an issue with her own insecurities and demons that she's dealing with. And that's not the type of bitch that you need in your life. You need a woman that has some morals and a good character that's not going to just look at you because of your height and see you as less than another human being how is that any different for y'all and, and another thing for y'all tall men who don't see anything wrong with women discriminating against short men i guess we shouldn't see anything wrong with white men i mean um with with white men who don't have an issue with racism it's the same because they benefit from racism so i guess because y'all benefit from heightism which y'all don't even believe in <laughs> y'all don't even take heightism seriously but this goes to show that people don't really care about things unless it affects them they don't have an issue with discrimination until it affects them until they see how it feels for someone to tell them that they are not good enough because of something that they can't fucking control that's the only time people have an issue with discrimination that's why black people have an issue with racism. If they was white, they probably wouldn't give a fuck. It's just fucked up. It's fucked up. And I need somebody to tell me what the difference is because I, I don't see a difference. But for whatever reason, we don't in our society see both of those forms of discrimination equally. We don't, we don't see them as the same. 
we see discriminating against somebody because of their weight, skin color, and race as much worse than a woman not wanting to date a man because of his lack of height. I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, yeah, it's fucked up. I never thought people took height so seriously, but they do. They really do. There's nothing wrong with having a preference, though. It's when you start looking down on people like they don't matter and like they're not worth shit because of their height like I know a lot of disgusting tall men and a lot of good hearted short men and to know that you will give a, a tall man who may be a disgusting immoral person so much praise be, because they're tall and place them above a short man because of something as inconsequential as height is disgusting and they piss me the fuck off but that's all I have to say in this video. I'm going to bring this video to a close. I'll see you all later.